Directions for 13-2 say payroll information is given from the employee's records given below. A form and general journal page is provided to guide you through the following examples. So we have two employees. They give us our accumulated earnings, and then they give us our total earnings for May 1st through 15th payroll. And here in the instruction number one, it says calculate the amount of earnings subject to unemployment taxes. The tax base for unemployment is 7000 like Olivia said before. So here's what we need to do. When I look at this direction right here, once somebody earns more than $7,000, we don't pay an unemployment taxes on them. So if I look here at Tamala, she is here for $5,100. Her earnings this pay period were $637.50. Is this $637.50 taxable? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and put $637.50 right into this box. Go ahead and do that. Now, Irma. Looks like Irma's been making a little bit more money than Tamala. Her accumulated earnings on April 30th is $7,350. Our tax base is 7000 Do I have to pay any unemployment tax on Irma? So I'm going to put a zero right here in unemployment tax earnings. And I know I have to put a zero in because the directions up here says note, note, note. Now, we have not exceeded the tax base for Social Security and Medicare taxes. Would you agree? Because they're just right around 7000 So right here, I'm going to total up the earnings for my two employees for this pay period. So I'm going to add 637.50 and 920. So the total earnings that I have for that pay period is 50. I think I have the wrong number in there. $1,557.50. I think I have one too many fives now. Now I need to do the same thing for unemployment tax earnings. So the only amount that I have to go through and pay unemployment taxes is going to be that $637.50. So what I need to do is I'm going to use these numbers right here for my base for multiplying my tax rate. And you can see in our directions for number two, it says calculate the amount of payroll taxes owed. Use the employer uh, payroll tax rate shown in this chapter. Um, so what I need to know is the different percentages. And they have them listed here. I will tell you the directions typically always give you your percentages. So you can see that Social Security tax is 6.2. Medicare is 1.4. Unemployment federal is 0.8%. This is where students do calculate wrong. Because they don't realize that there's a decimal point right there. And they put it in as 8%, which makes what you pay to federal larger than state. So always remember, um, state has to be larger. So 0.8 and 5.4. So right here, total earnings, that 1,557 is going to be the amount that I multiply for Social Security. Put that number there. Same thing, I'm going to do 1.5, 4, 5% and go there. So this is going to be the number that I use for Social Security and Medicare. And this is going to be the number that I use for my unemployment taxes. So you just have to go through and multiply by your percentages.
When I went through and calculated it, I found that I had a lot of rounding that needed to watch for your numbers. Would you agree? So you want to watch to make sure that you rounded correctly. How did I do? Do you guys compare to what I did? Yeah. I see a yes. Dale, are you agreeing with me? Yeah? Oh, good. What I need to do for total payroll taxes is I just need to add up those four taxes that I just calculated. I like this form that they give us to do on our work together on your own because it helps you to see what your tax base is for calculating your unemployment taxes. Now remember, for unemployment taxes, there's going to be a lot of times that you're going to have somebody exceed the tax base. And here's the thing that you need to realize is they have to pay taxes up to $7,000. So if their previous earnings was 6900 and their next earnings was 500, they would only have to pay taxes on that only 100 just to get them up to a 7,000. So you will find that on the assignment that's coming up. So that tax table up on top helps us for calculating. Now we need to journalize it. And again, my expense that I'm gonna put in there, um, cause I'm gonna journalize this as of May 15th of the current year. is gonna be payroll taxes expense. My source document is M46, and I'm gonna debit that 158.68, because that's gonna be the total of all my taxes from up above. Now, I'm gonna list all of my liabilities, starting with Social Security and going down to unemployment tax payable state. So you wanna go through in this order. So you do Social Security tax payable, it's credited, 96.57. What you should notice with this um, general journal is the debit is at the left hand side and Apply is automatically indenting in on your credits. It just makes sure it's a little bit easier for you to see which one is your debits and which one's your credits. And our debits and credits equal because this 158.60, it really is the total of all of those liabilities that we owe. Go ahead and try that on your own. It's set up exactly the same way, except you're gonna have three employees. Watch that 7,000. 